thing I love about Bloxburg is all of the creative building hacks I see, especially on TikTok. So in today's video, I got a bunch of people from my Discord server to send me the coolest Bloxburg building hack. And today we are going to test out not one, but nine of these building hacks. And once we complete all nine, I'll then invite you guys to test them out and vote for the best building hack that you guys see. And with that being said, let's test out these build hacks. <laughs> I just go to jump into build mode. Why is the build called build sacks? What? Okay, so we'll start off with our first one over here. Someone called Natalie on my Discord server sent me this really cool skylight roof tutorial. It's to make our roof go from this to this. So I thought this was super cool and I really want to know how they done this. All right, so first make an outline of the skylight you want to make. This could be hard if your roof isn't flat. All right, so we'll start off with a flat roof. Next, resize four basic cubes to surround the size of the skylight. And then lastly, resize a transparent cube to the side of the skylight. And then use the transform tool to slide it in. Oh, and then she also has an option for the people who don't have transform plus. Okay. Okay. Well, shout out to HG Ace. Let's see if it works. All right. So I'm just going to make a little make-believe bedroom right here. This can be our fake bedroom. I mean, we could just technically use the flat glass roof, right? Like, couldn't we just go like this, lift that up? Wait, wait, wait. What's the difference if I just use a flat roof? Hold on. Couldn't I just use a flat roof with a glass roof to make a skylight roof? Uh, I mean, I could, but I see what you mean. This does look more detailed. And if we are doing like the whole realistic look, this could potentially look better. So we shall see. How big do we want our skylight roof? We shall make it day big. And then next up, she said to place four cubes on the side of the roof. No, you know what Bloxburg needs to add? Hollow roofs, please. Actually, speaking of, Bloxburg. Guys, I am, are you ready for this? An official creator for Bloxburg. If you didn't watch Bloxburg latest video, pretty much I'm now an official creator for Bloxburg. So I get to talk with the development team about things that I would potentially like to have in the game. They also let me know when future updates come out and a lot of cool little perks. So I am so excited to tell you guys this. So yeah, if there's anything you guys would like to see in the game, comment it and let me know and I shall force them to add it. I'm just kidding, but I'll let them know. My disappointment is immeasurable. Okay, we've got the four basic shapes around the roof. Next up, transparent cube. Put this down a little tad. Okay, let's have a look if this works. Oh, okay. Wait, it's kind of cute. At the same time, what's the difference between this and then just using a flat glass roof? So this is the using an actual glass roof. I can't really tell the difference. <laughs> I think this is a cool build hack. It does make it look more clean, but if you wanted to go for the same look, you could just use a skylight roof. So out of one Michelin star and five Michelin stars, we shall rate it three Michelin stars. Okay, build hack number two. Okay, so the second one was sent by Lara and she said that this is one of her favorite custom and realistic build hacks. So it was made by this TikToker here and they have a Roblox computer screen. So what they done was place a computer and then a transparent cube with a decal on top, change it to this decal code and then use the transform tool to place on the computer. <gasps> okay, I gotta try this. That's one thing with um the computers in Bloxburg. You'd think that they have Roblox on them, but no, they do not. Okay, so with this TikTok done, they put a transparent cube on top of the computer screen. This seems like a pretty easy build hack if you have the transform tool. <laughs> I'm assuming just on top of the screen like this and then they got a square decal place it on top this decal code here and then I'm assuming we just change the size so it fits the laptop and then voila oh we have Roblox on our computer is does this work let's see oh no I got rid of the decal hold on maybe I can fix this by bringing this out like a tad bit more okay it actually works oh my gosh it looks like I'm literally on Roblox inside of Bloxburg this feels a little bit illegal but I'm here for it okay I think that is a pretty cool build hack very simple but it's very realistic so i like it it's so on to build hack number three okay so this one was sent by mads it's a build hack on how to make a room under the stairs made by Luxburg ghost oh my gosh this is cute okay harry potter so place the stairs first and then you place a modern fence and a fence gate place a triangle and resize and then done oh okay it seems pretty simple but at the same time it looks so advanced like that's actually something that i would use in my build it's kind of six I to say if this works or not. When I was little, I always wanted to live underneath the stairs. I don't know why, okay? I had a weird Harry Potter obsession as a kid. I was like to my mom, I want to live under the stairs. And she's like, Alaska, shut up. Okay, stairs. We can't use one of these stairs because we can't place anything underneath. And by the looks of it, she used these deck stairs. So we use deck stairs, place a fence on top so we don't fall off. And then for the fun bit. So what she done was place a modern fence panel with a modern fence panel gate. And then going into basic shapes, she placed a 
triangle underneath the stairs and then resized it so it fit the staircase. Oh my gosh, guys, I think this might actually work. I think it might work. See, when doing these build hacks, I feel bad for the people who created the build hacks because I'm like testing out build hacks, but like, what if I do it wrong? And then they're watching this video like, actually, Alaska, that was a really good build hack. You just didn't know how to do it right because you're dumb dumb. So if I do your build hack today and I mess it up, I'm sorry. Okay, so we place the triangles, we place the door. Oh, and you know what we can also do? I can also decorate underneath the stairs. So then we can make it all cozy up in here. This is gonna put Harry Potter's bedroom to shame once I'm done. This reminds me of that one person who had a room underneath their stairs and they made it a bedroom for their dog. You wish that was you, huh? <laughs> Now to see if this works. All right, okay, moment of truth. Looks pretty normal. Oh, <gasps> it works! Just ignore the fact that my head's halfway through the staircase. We can even turn on the TV. Oh, this is a vibe. Now on to build hack number four. Okay, so this one looks a little bit more difficult. It's from Ava Eugenia Roblox. It's an automatic car sensor hack. And I seen this and I'm like, oh. <gasps> First up, we have to build a layout like her. Oh, okay. And then add the secret bookshelf door, place a table runner on the shelf, and then resize a cylinder copy on the other side and rescale and place a cube in between the barriers and then you add a door sensor on each side and then you decorate okay this looks um difficult um but we shall try it the only problem is we're gonna have to have a lot more room than this so we have to copy this layout of hers i wish she showed me a better angle but we'll manage okay i'm gonna try and copy her layout and i'll be back Okay, so I've copied her layout, right? Next step she done was added was a secret bookshelf door. Looks like on both the edges like this. Oh my gosh, this is getting intense. I really want this to work. And then she placed a table runner, the shelf, like so. And then what she done is got a horizontal cylinder, placed it on top and then rescaled it. Once she placed down the table runner and the cylinder, resized it like this. She then copied the bookshelf and then added it on the other side. That looks pretty easy so far. And then what she done was put a cube in the middle and then she placed an intercom doorbell. And lastly, she got these auto door sensors. Oh my gosh, I really hope this works. And then the last thing she done was just decorate it to make it look like you're driving into a parking lot. So we'll quickly do that. If this actually works, I will be using this. Okay, so we've decorated our car parking sensor thing. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall place down this tiny little vehicle. All right, moment of truth. Well, that's awkward. No, I was so excited for this build hack. Why is it not working? Wait, maybe we need bigger sensors? What the hell? Are you joking? Wait, what if I put this on the opposite side? Let's have a look then. I am actually determined to make this work. What about now? What about now? Still no? Damn, this build hack so far is getting one Michelin star for real. Maybe it's the basic shape. What if we use something other than a basic shape? For example, a large round rod. <laughs> Please work. <laughs> Please work. No! How about, okay, another table runner? This doesn't work. I've officially given up all hope. Her build hack didn't work, but mine might. Let's have a look. Did it work? It didn't work. Are you joking? This okay, what about this? What about we just place the vertical cylinder, but we don't place the table runner? How about that? All right, what, what about now? They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. Okay, this is officially not working. This build hack gets zero Michelin stars. My friend wants to work on this build hack, so you know what? I'm going to let her work on the build hack. If she can figure it out, she is a certified genius. While she does that, we are going to work on build hack number five. Okay, so this is another roof hack sent by Rosie, and this TikTok was made by this person here. This is what the roof looked like. Super pretty. What they done was place a slanted roof and they placed cubes and resized it. Carefully placed on the slanted roof. You then add windows and then you add structural beams on the top and it ends up looking something like this. Okay so we'll have a slanted roof over here okay, and then what she done was place a cube. Oh what? I didn't even know you could do this. I'm a bit of a moron. Oh that's kind of cool. Okay. Okay next thing she done was added a flat glass roof up the top here. Okay, we're getting there. So far, we just need to fill in the gaps in between. So then once we do this, she just added some structural rods up the top for some support. And then if this works successfully, just have walls surrounding the room. This is going to be such a cool build hack if it actually ends up working. Because I remember doing a build hack like this ages ago. It just didn't work. So if this is successful, I am going to be shocked. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly decorate the room a little bit. Make it nice and cutesy. Okay, so I quickly decorated the room. One more thing I'm going to quickly add. 
just to make the windows look a little bit more realistic, I might add some more thin square beams to the window. Okay, so now if we hop out of build mode, all right, moment of truth and voila. Oh, we have little skylight roofs. Wait, that is kind of everything. Tell me that isn't like the cutest build hack ever. Oh my gosh, I love this. And then if we had the sunset over here, the sun would go directly into the room. Oh my days. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same. Just don't question the outside, okay? <laughs> okay, now on to build hack number seven. So this one was sent by Lewitt and they said this door can definitely make your builds look more realistic and it's functional. This build hack is a working custom door made by from from made by this person. I'm not gonna pronounce people's names anymore. Okay, difficulty level beginner. I think that's too hard for me. Okay, preview. This is the door. We can open and close it and it's custom. Okay, I definitely need to know how to make this. First, get a cube and scale it to the door size you want. Get small square beams and follow what I do. He kind of done like a little door pattern. And then get the flush secret door and place a horizontal plank on the bottom. Copy the custom door cube and place on the horizontal plank. Okay, it sounds easy enough, right? Okay, so I have a wall here here place the flush secret door i need to paint this because i cannot see where it is and then he placed a horizontal plank on the bottom <laughs> i really hope this works i'm gonna quickly open this see okay and then we make our custom door this would be really cool for detailed builders okay in his build hack he made the door bigger than the secret flush door but i'm gonna make it the same size and i guess we outline the door with small square beams and make it fancy um i don't know about you guys but these blocksburg building hacks i just just getting more and more advanced. Still annoyed about build hack number four. I really wanted that to work. FYI, my friend is still working on it, so she might figure it out. She might not. The cool thing with this door hack is uh, you can kind of make the door any pattern you want. I just done something like this. And then a door handle. Oh, you know what would be kind of cool as well? If we have an elegant doorbell in the middle and it can look like a little peaky hole. Last thing he done was move this to the bottom. Now, hopefully, if this works, we have our custom door. Oh, honey. She is cute. She is cute. That is adorable. I love this build hack. Are you telling the door, darling? Oh. The only thing is, though, you're going to have to do it on the other side of the door as well. But that should be pretty easy. And an update guys with build hack number four currently my friend has found a solution so we shall try this okay i doubt this is gonna work but we'll try we'll try <laughs> i just want to give this build hack the benefit of the doubt because i don't want to fail it and be like oh this is a bad build hack when it's probably like my fault okay moment of truth we've been waiting for this all video we're driving for our parking lot oh and it opens hold on my driving skills are a bit bad but <gasps> it works oh girl you gotta drive through drive through show me show me show me he's ready he's ready what she's what she's Oh. A few moments later. Okay, go. Do it. Drive through. What are you doing? Don't run into me. Go, go. All right. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. You suck at driving, by the way. Look at this. Struggling. The <laughs> After many, many attempts, build hack number four. It's finally working. I don't know how she done that. And the cool thing is, if we go exit this way, we can then go out through this way. So, I mean, it works both ends. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so finally up to build hack number seven. Now, this one looks pretty simple. Someone built a custom Stanley Cup by resizing cylinders, putting them on top of each other, like accordingly. And then they resized a small rod to make the handle valve. And then they recolored to the liking and use this as the decal code and this was made by this person we'll just do this on top of a counter here you know what i don't understand the hype with stanley cups or any cups in general i feel like every couple of months there will be a cup that will go viral and people will go crazy like babes it's a cup go buy one from target or something but people are like no i have to have this one certain cup i've had the same cup for like three years and guess what and it serves me the same purpose as a stanley cup yeah 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 Right, so far, it's looking pretty good. I feel like I made this way too big. And then she got some round rods, placed them on the table like this. Then she just got the transform tool and placed it on the Stanley cup so then it looked like a handle to the cup. Who just placed a spider in my plot? And then the little straw. I feel like all the mums have a beige Stanley cup. All right, and then decal with this decal code. Oh my gosh, it actually works. Okay, this is a pretty cool build hack. I like this. It's very simple. Good if you're doing realistic builds. Now, finally, moving on to build hack number number nine. So this one was sent by Sub, and it doesn't say which TikToker this was from, but credits to this girl right here. So you guys know how much I love my custom bathtubs or like custom showers. She actually came up with this really cool bathtub hack. 
And when I seen it, I was like, I know that I have to recreate this. And luckily for me, I actually have a jacuzzi, so I'm not gonna have to buy one. Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? So what she done was place four walls like so, and then a clear large window frame, except we might have to make this a little bit bigger. Boom, boom, boom. Next up, curtains. We can technically add any curtains we want. I think I'm gonna stick with these long panel curtains to make this look like a shower curtain. And she decorated it, so. <laughs> And there we go. That's build hack number nine. I mean, I would definitely have this in my bathroom. I reckon I'm going to have it in my next bathroom that I build. And now last but not least, build hack number 10. Now, this is something that I thought of. I don't know if anyone else has done it before me. So shout out to them if they have. But I thought of it with the new update. Oxberg came out with these mouse holes. And eventually a mouse will come out of the mouse hole. What if we do a little hamster cage around the mouse hole? So usually hamster cages are on coffee table like this. So then we just need to make the hamster cage. But before we do that, we need to make sure this mouse hole is on top of this basic shape. Then we have the mouse coming out here instead of on the floor. If this actually works, I might scream. I don't know if I should give him fake grass or wood. I reckon a wooden cage would be cute. And then some more basic shapes to actually make this a cage. Don't judge me, but I think rats are kind of cute. What did he say? <laughs> Not rats, but like little mice. Like, I think they're kind of cute. Like, look at this little baby mouse. Tell me you wouldn't want him as a pet. For the water, we might just use an oil bottle on top of a basic shape. I'm pretty sure you can just have this on the side of the cage. But then it's like, don't worry, I am actually giving my mouse something to drink. And then you can decorate the cage however you want. Maybe we'll have some plants in here. Oh, wait, you know what mice like? Cheese. Duh. There you go, Mr. Mice. I shall give you a piece of cheese. Okay, now, last but not least, transparent cube so our mouse doesn't run away from us. I'm gonna add LED lighting. Now we go up to it and see if it works. Or hopefully if we press- <gasps> Look at him! Oh my gosh! Wait, it actually works. Stop. Well, there we go. That's my little build hack. If you press the question mark, it puts out a piece of cheese. And then there you go. You have your own little custom mouse cage, which is actually kind of cute. Look at him. <laughs> okay, well, I'm super happy that build hack worked out. So now that all the build hacks are done, it's time to invite you guys onto the server to vote for your favorite build hack. Someone's dressed as Duolingo and they said, do your Spanish or vanish. Not him again. Leave me alone. Okay, so we have everyone looking at the different build hacks. We have a few people sussing out the skylight roof. I wonder what everyone's favorite's gonna be because they're all like very different. Someone's on the Roblox computer. Or someone's going underneath the secret room under the stairs. I don't know if this works for everyone though. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Oh, there we go. See, it kind of worked. And this person just goes, oh, wait, what? This one is, I reckon, a really cool build hack if you know what's going on. I wonder if anyone's gonna like my build hack though. Someone just said, wait, that's cool. Oh my God, mouse. Yeah, that's my build hack or whatever. This is one of my personal favorite. Why are there so many demons? What is going on? This one's pretty cool. It's a little Stanley cup. Got the little custom door over here. And then obviously the bathtub build hack. Oh, look, they even shut the curtains and everything. What a vibe. Someone's at my little mouse build hack and goes, I eat them. Okay, so I told everyone to vote for their favorite build hacks and that one of them is secretly mine. So starting off with build hack number one, this was the skylight roof. And for this one, we have one vote one little hamster. Next up, we have the Roblox computer screen, which has one, two, three votes. And then we have the secret room underneath the staircase. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, and six votes. And then next up, we have the custom door with one vote. The skylight roof, which seems to be a personal favorite for a lot of people. So skylight roof gets one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> What's going on here? Is someone like dying? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 28, 29, 28, 29, and 30. Whoa, okay, the Skylight Roof build hack gets 30 votes. That is insane. So, so far, this is in first place. And then next up, we have the parking sensor, which was a pain in my arm. This one gets one, two, three, four, five votes. And then next up, my build hack, y'all. This one gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 votes. We then have the bathtub build hack with one, two, three, four, five votes. And then last but not least, the Stanley Cup with what on earth is that? One, 
to three votes. Okay. Okay, well, with that being said, all of the build hacks are completed. Fan favorite is the skylight roof with 30 votes. So congratulations to whoever made this build hack. That's something that I'm definitely going to use in the future. So yeah, these were all of today's build hacks from TikTok. All credit goes to the creative people who have made all of the build hack. So if you guys would like to see me do this again, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join my Discord server, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!